So welcome back to the Impact Arena. It's semi-finals day here at the Toyota Thailand Open. Well, a very disappointing men's singles semi-final that we've just witnessed. Uh, but coming up next, we have the second of the women's singles semi-finals. You can see there the first one by Carolina Marin over Ansi Young of Korea. Our second women's singles is Tai Su Ying, the current world number one, and beaten finalist last week up against the former world number one and former world champion Ratchanuk Intanon, who's won this title twice previously. Today, she's looking to get through to her fifth final at a Thailand Open. So as far as the women's singles draw is concerned, seven different nationalities by quarterfinal stage, six seeds. And the reason there's not eight nationalities, as you can see, there's two players from Thailand. Cho Chu Wong, right at the bottom of the draw there. It was her 23rd birthday yesterday, but she was unable to celebrate in style because she went down to Ang Si Young. But at semi-final stage, four seeds, four different nationalities, and four different nationalities is the same as we had last week. So it really just goes to prove time and time again that the women's singles discipline is in very good shape in world terms. Lots of different players capable of winning titles, lots of different players from many different countries. And that's always lovely to see. But here is the current world number one. Tai Su Ying of Chinese Taipei. Well, she's looking to reach a third Super 1000 event final in the three events that count towards the 2020 HSBC BWF World Tour because last week and this both count towards the World Tour finals that have been postponed from last December now until January. So these two tournaments we are counting as part of the 2020 calendar year as far as the HSBC BWF World Tour is concerned. So Let's do the umpire, toss. Red, Jia Chien, black. Doing the toss of the coin Red as we black can point. see that this is the 18th meeting between Red. these two players Serve. and of okay. the previous okay. 17 Rachanuk Intanon holds the advantage. But the last time they met was in the group stage of the 2019 World Tour Finals. It was three thrilling games and it was just one minute shy of the hour mark before this lady won 21-16 in the deciding game, having to come from a game down in Guangzhou in December 2019. So Tai Su Ying went back up to world number one after winning the All England Championships in March last year. She regained her number one spot from Chen Fei, who she beat in the final. And for this lady, it was in fact her third All England title in her fourth consecutive final. That really is staggering, isn't it? So uh, looking to reach her sixth final in her last eight tournaments that she's played, and looking for a fifth consecutive final. In the first round, uh, she beat the left-handed Kei Tong, and then in the second round, the 2017 World Junior Champion, Tung Jung from Indonesia, quarter-final against the number eight seed, Michelle Lee, in three games. Michelle Lee, incidentally, has qualified for the World Tour Finals, along with the two players we've got on court at the moment. So to the four-time finalist and two-time champion here at her home event, Ratchanuk Intanon, she's 25 years of age, won the title here in 2013 and 17, and first competed in this event as, an Ill as a 13-year-old. She was world number one for two weeks after she won 
three Super Series events in three weeks in 2016, India, Malaysia and Singapore. It was the most extraordinary three play. weeks in this player's life. I'm pretty certain of that. First round, she beat the 2012 winner in a repeat of that final uh, back in 2012. Second round, she beat the 2015 winner, Sung Ji Hyung. Needed three games there, though. And in the quarterfinal yesterday, she beat the reigning world champion, the number six seed, Pusala Venkata Sindhu. And score-wise, you can see against the reigning world champion, it was her easiest match so far. Yeah, I want to have to say that uh, Sindhu looked a little bit uh, of a shadow of herself yesterday. Yeah, it was desperately Not disappointing. Not to take anything away from Ratchanok, but I uh, mm. have to say that. So our court officials, Jochian in the umpire's chair from Iran and Van Horenbeck from Belgium, the service judge. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Tai Zhu Ying, Chinese Taipei. And on my left, Ratchanok Intanon, Thailand. Ratchanok Intanon to serve. Love all. Play. So the women's singles semi final, the second of the women's singles semi finals. All right, Chinook Intanon, the former champion. Service over. Nearest to One. us. Love. Now, Morton, before we get into this match, yep. I'm going to answer my own quiz question. Okay. <laughs> 2008 <laughs> Denmark Open, there were three Danes in the semi final. Peter Gader, who won the title, Joachim Pearson. Pearson, yes. And Service Coach over. Kenneth Jonasson in his One. playing days. Yep. Oh. So there you go. And we had no help from our sides. You did it all by yourself. I did. I worked it out. <laughs> Good for you. Just needed those extra free <laughs> few minutes of prep time, didn't I? Yes. Before you ask me, I would say that Intanon won the toss and Two, chose to one. serve. Oh, yes. Service over. Two, well, all. beaten in the final last week, Tai Su Ying but she was holding her stomach throughout and we both thought that she didn't look as if she was feeling all that well no but it's much better this week yeah service over three two but i must say that i i find that somehow she's not covering the court in these past two weeks as well as let's say what we saw at the all england in march 2020. see that's one that one there i i think she's getting late Four, on, two. and she would a year ago she would have been there a lot lot earlier five two Well, 17 previous meetings, Morton. And of those 17 meetings, only five times out of the 17 has the match between these two not gone to three games. Yes, not. I was just about saying that. This is usually a very tight affair. Yeah. It's gone long. Six, two. Well, we were talking yesterday that Ratchanuk Intanon has never been in a World Tour final of level, level 750 or uh, 1000. Yeah. So this is her big chance to put that statistic right. Service over. Three, six. Oh, 
Oh yes. Play. Yeah. Good play. Service over. Seven three. Yeah. We must admit that this is perhaps the two most stylish players of women's singles. Oh, I couldn't agree more. So it's a, a big treat to see players playing with such elegance and, of course, technical skills, the way they move and court and everything. Yeah. Very, very similar. Done it. Nine three. Oh. Mm. Ten three. Doesn't look much match fit, does she? And by that we mean keeps missing the lines, overdoing things, can't find her touch. Yeah, uh, not as sharp as we've sometimes seen her. But I like the no-nonsense approach. Not complaining at all, just getting on with it and doing her best. Oh, what a yeah. net shot. Yeah, Eleven, perfect, three perfect. Interval. At an eight point advantage here at the mid game interval. Look at that net shot from Rachanuk. Absolute beauty. The backhand wasn't so shabby either. Just six minutes into the match. เดี๋ยวมันไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้
very, very good. Oh, <laughs> my yeah. goodness. 8.13. Yeah, just a demonstration of how... Good tactical awareness. Yeah. Two back to the same place. Yes, exactly. One net of Rachinuk. Oi, 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 oi. That's fabulous. Set is over. 14, 8. Really using the court well, both players. But look at that final shot. Somehow it feels like your Fintanon can just keep it in, keep it going, keep it steady. That uh, Tai Su Ying is making the mistake. Service over, 9.15. Purposeful this week, Rachino Kintanon, than she was in her quarter final loss last week to Unsee Young. All the applause you're Nine. hearing is the volunteers from Thailand. Possibly a few teammates, who knows? Not sure teammates are even allowed to come down to watch, are uh, they? I'm not sure. With our COVID protocols? Yeah, I uh, haven't studied them as I'm not a player yeah. anymore. Oh, that's the beauty. Yeah. Good Super. spinning next shot. Yeah. Service but over. Without doubt, 10, too little, 19. too late. Oh, that's lovely defense off the body. Service over. Yeah, she managed to move in such a way that she 11. got it right in front of her. Look at this, yeah. Moved to the side and played the shot beautifully. Guided it towards the side. Game point opportunities. Oh. Well, that's well saved. Service over. 12.20. Did well to control that. It's probably one of the most difficult shots in yes, the whole book. Yes, it is, isn't it? Because your body weight's 
tends to drag the shuttle wide of the court as you play the shot. That's a clever Get play by yeah. Not playing her favourite cross-court shot on the last one, but punching it down the deep backhand corner. That was a good shot. Well, Rachano Kintanon played an almost perfect opening game there against the current world number one. This is the final rally. 21-12. Fourteen minutes of play. So what on earth can the current world number one, Tai Su Ying, against the former world number one? Does she have any answers oh. playing from this near side of Service the court? Over. And that's where Rachinov has got to be awfully careful, of course. She's now hitting with the drift. Well, very different Ooh. start to this second Lock. game by Tai Su Ying. I think what we've seen so far from Tai Su Ying is that she hasn't got the patience to, to work her rallies. She's either going for the big gun, scoring the points in really flashy style, or she's making quite a lot of unforced errors, to be very honest. Yeah. So she's uh, really pushing it very hard, going all out attack most of the times. Oh. But isn't that Tai Su Ying in general? I think when she's playing best, she's having a better balance between her aggressive style, but also playing with patience and, and working her opponent a little bit better. That's when I feel she's playing oh. the best. Mm. Tai Zhu Ying challenges called out. First challenge of this women's singles semi-final. Yeah, she was right. That's a good challenge. Correction in. Very good challenge. Service over. Three, two, play. Yeah, well played. Definitely Four, upping her two. pace. But look at the finishing shot. This one here. 
that's pretty close isn't it she's got the full court to play yeah. and Rachinok has completely chosen side still she's going what three four five inches from there from the sideline Good net shot, force the error on the left. Three, Awesome shot. Five, three. Facial expression oh. says it all, really. Oh. Yeah, immediately so apologizes. Six, five. taken isn't it it is made it look easy <laughs> it almost looked like Rachinok having eyes in the back because Service hands over. up apologizing from Tai Zhu Ying mm. and oh. Rachinok with her back turned around acknowledged yeah You know, Seven. when I watched Ratchnuk lose her quarterfinal last week to Anse Young, mm. I had a bit of a theory because Five she's always piece. been a player to me that likes to play a lot of badminton. In 2019, she played all 15 level two, three, and four. So the f all 500 and above events, all 15 of them. And I thought with having so much time off because of global lockdown, I thought a player who likes to play a lot is going to suffer more and find it more difficult to get back into things. But my goodness, oh. I mean, the way she's played today and the way she played against PV Sindhu yesterday, I think that sort of blows my theory because she seems to be right back in it again. Yeah, but she had a tournament last week, so maybe that's what's yeah. doing it for her. But uh, we followed Inton on uh, you and I in our commentary this week and uh, and uh, I think she's played really well. You pointed out uh, yesterday, but I also think it was a very good match against Sun Ji Hyun. And uh, all credit to the Korean player because she did really well yeah. in that match. It was a, an awesome match. Goodness me, that barely made the net. 9-6.
great shot. Service over. Yeah, Seven, but the cross court shot nine. from Intanon is is one of her favourites, but uh, Tai Su Ying knows it, and uh, it can be a danger shot for Intanon because we saw the result exactly here. How quickly she got onto it and played it so tight. Eight, nine. That's a missed Eleven, opportunity eight. from Tai Su Ying. And it's a three point advantage here in the second game, having already won the first for the number four seed, Arachana Gintanon. for Tai Su Ying to step up to the plate. That's a lovely shot. Yeah. Service over. 9-11. That's right into the corner. That's a super shot. 10, 11. Look at that. Wonderful. Well, well, well. 11, oh. All three points since the mid-game interval to the world number one, Tai Su Ying. Back on level terms. That four straight points. Twelve, eleven. Thirteen, eleven. Well. She's taken the game to her opponent as Tai Su Ying, and all credit to her, said she needed to step up to the plate, and she's done precisely that. Yeah, well, well, well. 14, 11. Six straight points.
may be going out. 15, 11. Well, I think Tai Su Ying has thought exactly what I verbalised. Time to step up to the plate. Yeah. I think she's finding, a, as we talked about earlier as well, a better balance between, you know, playing the basic game, when to play aggressive, uh, when to just keep it going, and uh, not forcing her game too much, which means that she is making too many mistakes. Yeah. But it's quite extraordinary, this, isn't it? Yeah. Eight straight points. Well judged. Seventeen, eleven. Looks like we're treated to a third game. Which will be a thirteenth time if that happens <laughs> between these two players. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes. Stop the run eventually Four at nine points. 17. Oh no, it's in. in, 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 in what in. a lift. Yeah. Service over. 18. Ah, she not have gone down there and placed it yourself. No. Better than that. No. <laughs> it's right in the corner. Isn't it a perfect <laughs> one? Oh. It's out. 19. 12. 11 of the last 12 points since the mid-game interval. And game point opportunities game now. Point 12. 12 of the 13 points since the mid-game interval. And perhaps... Totally extraordinary. Symmetry in the scores, yes. It is absolutely very strange. Yeah. Oh no, that's on the line. It's in as well. Would you believe game, it? One by Tai Su. Thirteen or fourteen 12, consecutive points. All. And it is one game all, and as Morton suggested it might be, it is complete symmetry in the scoreline. How astonishing. Well, it was almost as if she was able to switch on her style, like switching on a light bulb. It's one game all. เล่งมาไม่ต้องมีคุมว่าเปลี่ยนเนี่ยกลับเป็นบุกใช่ไหมไม่ใช่รับเงินเนี่ยเรียกว่าปุ๊บบุกเรียกว่าปุ๊บบ
at the break in the second game and promptly won 13 of the next 14 Love points. On. So one game hey. all. Third and deciding game. seen a tweet Morton before we get into this third game okay Vietinghus yeah. had a flight book back tomorrow oh. he's got to change his flight wasn't <laughs> expecting to win I think we can assume from that <laughs> yes you're right what's Ratchinok got to do here Morton because I mean it, it, obviously since the mid-game interval of the second game, it's been total dominance by Tai Su Ying. How do you break that up? How do you stop that continuing? Um, she, she's got to dig deep. She's got to uh, get some more pace into Three. what she's doing. Um, what happened in the first game, as I said, uh, it, it looks like Tai Su Ying was making a lot of unforced errors and uh, and it was enough just to, to play the shot back. But now sh she's got to be more inventive. She's got to add more pressure and, and play faster. Service because over. if she's not doing it, Tai Su Ying is hitting the winners. One, three. A oh, little lucky net cord for Ratchin up there. Perhaps that'll spur her on into having a go to be. Oh, oh gosh, well, what, do you, what do you do against that? That's the Service problem. Serve low serve. Serve low serve, yes. But. Oh, go for a flick surf. Yeah. Tai Su Ying is so tricky from the front of the court, though. Yes. But that's where I think Internet has got a, a little bit of a, a strong side to her game is that when she's serving low she's quite good getting the next one and uh, she's got the technique to get out of trouble Save is over. Two, four. See, no trouble to get that one. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Really well played Service by Tyson. Five, two. Well, Ooh. this is extraordinary. Yeah. Suddenly, it ah. looks like that Tai Su Ying just found the form. Yes. Just found whatever it is, and everything is just working out so well. Oh. That's one left side. That's gone wrong. Yeah. Save is over. Three, seven. Yeah. Forcing the lift to the backhand side Eight, from Intanon. And once again, pounding that smash down the line. Suddenly, it's like uh, Tai Su Ying's quality 
in her shots has just come back. Yeah. She's playing with a very, very good quality now. Got to watch that drift though, mm. hitting towards the back line. Yeah. Service Sways order. the body one way, hits the shuttle Nine another. Five. Yeah, it's oh. so good to watch, isn't it? That's just wide. Yeah. I think she was considering Six, to nine. play a challenge. Well, in my opinion, if she had, she would have lost it. Yeah, that's yeah. clearly wide. It is. Oh. Yeah, that's good pace on that, isn't Seven. it? Yeah. Taking it early in her forehand corner. As I see, it's, it's her favourite shot. Attacking from the forehand side, cross court. Slices, drop shots, whatever. She's playing them really well. Oh, yes. Yeah. Now that was that controlled was and measured, wasn't it, ten, from Tai Suying? It was, but it was still close to the back line. Why did she stop? I think she Eight. lost a step. Ten. It couldn't push off properly or something. Yeah. All credit Nine. to Interman, she's hanging in there, working hard. Yes, from a five-point deficit, both at 2.7 and 3.8. Just one point in it now. It's gone wide. Oh. Well, Tai Su Ying needn't have played her round the head shot. I'm sure Ten. it was going oh. wide. This one here. Yeah. Ten all. Who's going to have the advantage at the change of ends? Eleven. Ten. And the answer is Rad Chinook Intonon. Six of the last seven points to Ratchanuk Intanon and an 11 10 lead.
แล้วก็ตายซึ่งแล้วก็ตายก็เมียตกอักตกทั้งอะไรผู้ both players have had more success from this near side of the court and it was Tai Su Ying I think you told me who changed who chose ends no uh, yeah she chose ends yes uh, yeah. Intanon chose to serve exactly correct yes Intanon won the, the toss but oh. chose to serve mm. Challenge here from Tai Su Ying. Here we go. No, just long. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 12, 11, play. Oh dear me! Indecision, wasn't it? Yes, she was going to leave it, and then suddenly thought she's going to play it. By which time it was way too late. Gracious! chance for Tai Su Ying to contest if she wins this semi-final all three Super 1000 tournaments in a World Tour calendar year. That's gone wild. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Service over. 14, 12. This is the thing with Tai Su Ying. She can be, appear to be playing quite beautifully and then suddenly goes off the boil. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's really, I, I think you use the word fluctuating in yes. this match. It's, you just don't know what's going to happen. No. Completely outmaneuvered her opponent Service on that over. occasion, Tai Su Ying. Now she's making very good use of the uh, the back court, punching the clears to the back, and Inton on really under pressure, using the fact she's playing against the drift, Tai Su Ying. Yeah. And what a response. Yeah, that's super play Service from Arachnok Inton on. Sixteen. 
Sam Sorbo. Now that was a safe shot from Tai Su Ying straight at her opponent. Good block. What a rally. Yeah. Oh, oh it's going well wide. Wasn't it? I thought so. What a rally, though. Brilliant. Intonon is working very, very hard. In decision. I don't believe it's it. In, it's in, it's in. This is fantastic. <laughs> what a rally rally of the match so far I think she's all right I think she's just having a bit of a breather <laughs> she's having a, a small rest what pace to the rally I think Tai Su Ying took two shots that were going out in that rally yeah. Thank amazing you. that shot is beautiful isn't it Quick. Longest rally so far. I'm not surprised about that. Forty two shots. Forty two brilliant shots. Yeah. Service over. 17.15. It's really strange to hear people <laughs> applauding and clapping. Yeah, clapping. Yes. It's suddenly so strange, isn't it? Yeah. Well, while they're taking a new shuttle, I should just point out that if Rachanuk wins this semi-final she will become the most prolific women's singles finalist at the thailand open shares the record at the moment with susie susanti of four finals oh that's down the line yeah, it's in. but then susie susanti did win all four finals 18. that she contested yeah, she was such a stylish player mm. at her time so a three-point advantage and three points away from a little bit of history being made for Rajanok Intanon. Oh, oh that's a dream shot. Service over. At such time in the match, 16, and then come up with 18. a shot like that. That's a risky shot. Look at the placement. Well, I don't think I've seen Rachan or Kintanon as fired up as this 19, for quite some time. 16. As you can definitely see the light at the end of yeah. the tunnel here. Two points away from a fifth final at a Thailand Open. Oh, delightful. <laughs> and his match point opportunities. 20 Four of them. Point 16. For the former champion. That was cool play from Intanon. Oh, 
Service over. Plays a net cord <laughs> drop shot 20. to perfection when you match point down. Like there's no care in the world. Yeah. Well, Thank he who dares wins. So they say. But she's still got to save another three. Good play from Intanon. Good spinning shot. That's no. out. Oh, she's challenging. Rachanok Intanon challenges called out. Yep, indeed it was out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 18, 20. Play. Oh, that's a great play. shot. Yeah. Well, three match points have come and gone. 19, three match points have been 20. well saved by Tai Su Ying. But one more match point remains for the two time former champion. Sometimes the Internun is getting a little bit nervous towards the end. Let's see how it goes here. Good rally. Yeah. It's awesome pace. It's Oof. in, it's in, it's in. Yeah. Good retrieving. is hurting. I don't believe it. That is four match points four. brilliantly saved by Tai Su Ying. What pace to the rallies, what quality of shot. Yeah, now it doesn't get better. Awesome play. Well, we thought this might be a good match. We have been treated 20 all. And extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin. And that last rally, uh, just one shot shy of equaling the longest rally of the match. And that's at a match point. 20 all. Well, on a run of five 21, straight points, 20. coming from four match points down, Tai Su Ying now has a match point opportunity herself. That's wide. Oh. And now Tai Su Ying has to watch Service out over. that she's not making one or two of these unforced oh. errors, you know, just. Yes from the racket and you don't know where they're coming from so it's seen before 21 all Good pace on that punch clear, wasn't it? It was. Forcing the mistake. So a second match point now for Tai Su Ying.
the Here shorts and she's Eight. done it that is quite remarkable saving four match points in the deciding game tai su ying before coming back to close it out 23 21. 21 12, well the match 25. of the very very highest quality one minute shy of the hour mark the exact length of time of their last match prior to today yeah simple put away in the end after the lift from Rachinok Intanon was deflected by the net cord there is confirmation of the score 12-21 21-12 23-21 21 in the deciding game having saved four match points Tai Su Ying through to her third Super 1000 tournament final in this BWF calendar year my goodness me well if our next match is half as good as that we're in for a treat. It's mixed doubles next. It's last week's champions, Puavra Nukro and Teira Tanachai, up against Ranki Reddy and Ponapa. <laughs> 